Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Warhammer 40k Joy Toy Time Black Templars Emperor's Champion Bayard's Revenge. And today's date is Tuesday, the 1st of August 2023. Tomorrow I go to England for three weeks. Yay! But don't worry, I will still be releasing videos every day. And you'll see videos as soon as they're made and uploaded, then please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. It's free for seven days. You can cancel any time in those seven days, including the seventh day, and it will not have cost you a penny. It is worth checking out. So this came yesterday. Looks pretty cool. Very, very, very nice. And it's good to have another, or nice rather, to have another addition to the uh, Black Templars. Very dark photograph there. So two pairs of hands, got his gun, sheathed gun, holstered gun, sword, helmeted head, fantastic, looks pretty cool. Let's unbox him, set him up and see what he's like, I'll be back in the instant, stay tuned. And here he is, and he does look pretty cool. Uh, it looked a bit bland in the box because there's nothing on his sort of chest plate, but then you do get the, uh, the necklace with the emblem, the logo of the Black Templars, and you'll see another one with the... Uh, Empire logo, the uh, two-headed eagle, which is pretty cool. As I said, two pairs of hands. He gets fist left and right, and opposite to what he's got, so he gets a left trigger and right gripping, as opposed to his right trigger and left gripping. And I changed his head around. This is the unhelmeted head, which is not bad to be fair, but the not as good as the ones we saw on the on the uh, salamanders previously. But you know, still. Pretty good, some paint that's not been applied particularly nicely around the ear, but it's not a bad head, to be fair. Let's get a close look at him. He comes with the uh, same pistol we've seen that other Black Templars come with, which I sort of haphazardly stuck on in there. The helmeted head is fantastic, I really like that a lot. Very medieval style knight helmet. Sword is here, we have seen this sword before. Though the writing is, I'm not sure if it's unique, but it's not on the other Black Temple stores that I recall. Uh, these little grenades can be taken off as can whatever this thing is here. His back, he's got lots of sort of writing on there, not that we can make that out, it can be way too small. Even with extreme zoom, that I might be wrong about that, you know. Let's have a quick check and see if we can actually make any out any of that writing. I think we cannot, it's going to be too small. And much better zoom for that. Yeah, I can't make out the right, unfortunately, it's just a shame. Um, pretty nice. It's got straps on there, not sure it's already got straps in these sort of shin pads, but it's a nice looking figure. It's a good addition to the Black Templars. I like that. Atmospheric again, that head does look pretty cool. Uh, but it has limited articulation compared to the unhelmeted. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the articulation. Let me just zoom out a bit more. So left and right, small up and down, not really a side to side. Uh, nozzles on the backpack do go around. Shoulder should turn all the way. It's a ratcheted shoulder. To the sides, we're going to have the issue. The terminates have been better recently on the side, but that is getting slightly better. There is a butterfly joint which is fantastic for holding your gun and certain poses bicep swivel bicep bend the uh, angle right will be over 90 degrees which is fantastic then hand is on a double barbell joint so you can turn and you can articulate in all directions trunk very good backwards falls is okay side to side is not really there turn is a little bit but the waist does turn and does go side to side and falls back so together. The backers is amazing. Forge is all right. Side to side is all right. And what dropped off this little black pouch here dropped off the back then. There we go. Hips are going to knock things off or things are going to get in the way because of his bulk. But it's not bad. It's all right. Forge are backwards again. Things are getting in the way. It will be knocked off. So it's not going to be fantastic. There is a thigh turn, double kneecap, but it's got that ugly kneecap underneath because it's over 90 degrees. And then foot is on a ball, so it will turn left and right, it will swivel, it will tippy toe, dorsiflexate, and it's got a toe articulation too. 
But that sort of shoulder roll movement forwards and backwards is really good. And he feels like he gets slightly more on his uh, shoulder than other Space Marines. Speaking of which, let's compare him to our Black Templar's Sword Brethren. They do look good together. The Empress Champion does look good. I really like the helmet he's got. Nice figure. Very nice you've into the uh, Black Templars and collect them. I do like it. And it's really good to see that it's, they've uh, upped the inking on the gun. The paint isn't as good on the blue. This is like a metallic. This one's not. But the inking is better on the Emperor Champ Emperor's Champion gun. Good figure. Nice release. More like this, please. Joy Toy. And let's get some more Xenos, please. Okay, so all Smash Toys signing out. So please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon link in the video description below, along with discount codes and links for some of the better toy sellers. I'll see you in the next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.